What is up guys, how's it going? In this video I'm going to review the bamboo skin from dbrand. Now although I have reviewed dbrand skins before, this one in particular is going to be for the sandstone black 1 plus 1. Now I know that they did used to provide some warning when you you try to purchase the sandstone black skins from dbrand but at the time of this video those warnings don't come up anymore so that should give you some idea that it's pretty much alright to do so and watching this video of mine should also give you some assurance that it's going to be fine and you don't need to worry about anything at all so anyways the thing is that I really really love the OnePlus One it's pretty much the best device I've used in 2014 and I love dbrand as well. I really dig their skins from the Nexus 4, the Nexus 5, and now the OnePlus One. So I can't really just not use the skins. So anyways, let's go ahead and see what comes inside the little dbrand pouch. As you can see here, I ordered the bamboo skin for the back, the matte black version for the front, and it, along with that it comes with two regular screen protectors for the device. Now the material on the skin itself does actually feel like wood, although it's not really wood, it does give that wood-like feel and it adds a nice touch to it. Now applying the skin on the back of your device is actually pretty easy, it does take me a while because I am very clumsy. dbrand does have a tutorial on their YouTube channel page, I'll leave that link in the description box below. As you can see here, I'm struggling to kind of get it well, but in the end, I will get it right. Now, just to mention a few things, the sandstone material on the OnePlus One is actually really good. It's just that I had been using this device for months, and I just wanted a little change, so I got the bamboo skin, and as you can see, I'm pretty much done here, and here is the final product. As you can see, this actually looks pretty damn good. It fits perfectly and the camera cutouts are also pretty much perfect and uh, I'll just get a quick shot around all the angles and just to mention something here um, the top and the bottom sides were sticking out a bit as in their tutorial video of dbrands they do recommend using a blow dryer but I did not have access to one so over the period of a couple weeks the edges actually sticked in quite perfectly and they actually looked as they were a part of the device itself. Personally I'm quite satisfied with the way the phone looks and feels in the hand and I would definitely recommend this to anyone. If you would like to stay tuned and want to know what happens when I pull the skin out which I will do probably in a couple months or so. So feel free to follow me on Twitter or Google Plus or Instagram and Facebook and I'll probably be tweeting out each time I change the skin or I'll make a video of it let me know in the comments whatever you'd like me to do and uh, that's pretty much it for this video guys if you liked it please feel free to give it a thumbs up and do subscribe to stay tuned to more of my stuff if you have any questions anything you'd like to see on the OnePlus One or on the brand you can leave them in the comment section below thanks for watching and I'll see you all in the next one. Take care. Bye-bye.